we are jumping straight on in. Um, I've got my little my little microphone all set up because um, I'm a full full YouTuber now, getting that road sponsorship. You know who you are, road. Get your boy up, or not. You don't have to. I'm not sponsored by absolutely anything. So I've finally succumbed to the YouTube comments, the dreaded YouTube comments, um, and I've given into peer pressure by all one of you who commented for this little effect I've done in some of my videos. Step one, you need an Apple computer. Step two, you need to get Final Cut. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you today how to make this awesome effect. That is something else. So let's start with this part, me in the black and the little glitch effect over me. So this is all within Final Cut. So first step, here's the clip. Here's one I prepared earlier. If we watch this back. Let's get into it. What a wally, no effects. So let's fix that. Uh, step one, we're gonna go over to the side, the effects panel. If you don't see the effects panel, this little, this little do hacky over here, um, just click that and then it appears. Then we're gonna scroll down till you see the word mask. You're gonna click on mask. We're gonna draw a mask. So just drag that bad boy on top, boom. So what you have to do is just cut yourself out or whatever you want to cut out, go nuts. So I'm just gonna cut myself out here. A um, little trick to get in closer, Command B, and then you zoom in straight away and then go through. So I'm gonna just fast through, forward through this. So don't mind me while I cut myself out. Awesome, so I'm cut out so we can Zoom back out, command minus to go to back to 100% or you can use this little drop down here. Now, if we click off that, that looks pretty good. Look at me, I am floating in a black room. Awesome. So now what we need to do is you can see though in the video previously, I hit little 2D animations happen. They're just overlays. We're not gonna go into that today, but this a little effect here, you notice it's up here. So what we need to do is we need to find where we wanna make the cut. Boom, on that little hit. So we're gonna go command B. So now we have two different clips independent. So we're gonna to go to the first clip and we're gonna just turn off the mask. So turn that off and then when you hit play, we go black. So that's a good start, good start. But I know what you're saying, Josh, it's not, it's not glitching. It's not glitching. So to fix that, very simple. We add another effect. This one's a banger. This one is in distort, no. It's not there. This one is in Stylize. So here we go. So we go to Stylize um, and it's up here. It's called Bad TVs. Just grab the effect and drag it on top and then, oh, look at that, look at that. Have we just done it? Have we just, <laughs> look at that. And then we hit play. Let's get into it. Wow. And let's compare it, let's compare it. <laughs> Whoa, but you can notice that we start a bit of a wobble. So the standard effect's a bit lame. So what I like to do is I usually go to the start of the clip, come over to the bad effect, put a keyframe in, drag it up a bit so it's like super hectic, and then come along a couple of frames. Ooh, let's go about there. And then bring that down to not zero. You just want a little bit of that RGB effect. Yeah, blue noise is the one we want. Then I change it to blue noise and then come back and then let's have a watch back. There we go. That's the little effect there to make you glitch out into the black. So you just cut yourself out, apply the effect, scale it, play with it, nice and easy. But now I know what you're saying. What if you want it to happen to just you? Same principle. So we'll find the effect. Here it is. Command C, Command V the clip. See how it's done this? Drag it under, boom, boom. And then this layer here, come to the mask and we want to go invert. And then we turn off the effect and boom, diddy, boom. Just the couch, like that. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. It's really just the bad TV effect, playing with the sliders, getting it all editing and flowing in. I hope you learned something, I hope this was good. Tell everyone to maybe subscribe, you know? Just, it, literally, what harm does it do you subscribing to my channel? Nothing, except quality entertainment and improving your edit skills and filming skills and... <laughs>